It's officially the first day of fall, and if you want to celebrate, well, we have the event for you. We have Chastity Mays and Van Eigner from the Black Chamber of Commerce of Southern Illinois to talk all about Carbondale's Fall Fest. So first, give us a little bit of history about this event. Is it new? Has it been going on for a while? Talk about it. Well, this is a brand new event. This is the very first kickoff, and we're going to start something annually that it was going to be able to uh, duplicate every year. We hope that it gets bigger and bigger. That is awesome. And so then why did you guys start this event in Carbondale? So we're so excited because we just wanted to bring the community together. Mm -hmm. So it's something that you can bring your kids to, the whole family will have activities, we'll have food trucks, and we'll just have so much for everyone. Mm -hmm. And so then the kickoff is noon on Saturday. So what are some of the events that are lined up for the day? So we have the Carbondale fire truck for the kids, we'll have activities, we'll have sack races, we'll have um, just so much. We have music, we have a lineup of, um, a whole lineup. We have the Carbondale Young Lions of Jazz and we have um, Y'all Rock Carbondale Band. So it's just so many different community organizations coming together. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it definitely will be a good time. And so how many vendors do you guys expect to have at this festival? Oh wow, we got a boatload of vendors. <laughs> all of that Southern Illinois made products that are going to be available and we got all of the usual champions that are going to show up. There's going to be voter registration, they're going to have opportunities to uh, get information from the NAACP and from some other organizations, Carbondale United, the Empowerment Justice uh, Center will also be there. So it's going to be uh, magic. Mm -hmm. Something for everyone. Yeah, and so then this is going, taking place just Saturday, correct? Yes, okay. just Saturday from noon to six. Perfect. And so then the Black Chamber of Commerce is teaming up with Carbondale United to put on this event. Why do you think that was important for, you know, you all to team up? It's just important for the community to work together as a whole and just um, bring just a variety of vendors, small businesses, and community organizations together. Mm -hmm. And then also, you know, kind of bouncing off of that, how important is it for this to be in the community? It's an amazing opportunity for us to show allyship, for mm -hmm. us to come together and really represent each one of our communities and show our, our, how our differences make us stronger mm -hmm. and that, that we have a variety of things that are available to us in our community and knowing is half the battle. This is an opportunity for our community to get in the know. Mm -hmm. You got all these hidden treasures around, all these people that are selling products, people that have information to give to the community, and this is a platform for all of us. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like it's just gonna be a really good time to gather, to get to know your community and to see what Carbondale really has to offer. Yes. <laughs> and so then, where is this going to be taking place specifically in Carbondale? It's at Turley Park in Carbondale. Okay, and then you said it's from noon to six on this Saturday. Yes. And that is perfect. You know, we're today is the first day of fall, so what better to, you know, celebrate <laughs> yes, the fall season. Exactly. Fall with, fest. <laughs> yes, with a gathering. And so is there a cost to get into the event or anything like that? No, it's completely free admission. Okay, and so then for people who are, you know, thinking of doing something this weekend, how would you persuade them to come? What would you want how what would you tell them right now? I would say there's just so much to offer. You have community organizations, you have bands, you have information. So just come out see what we have to offer and support. And this is definitely a good event for the family. Kids will enjoy it too. Oh yes, yes absolutely. Do you know of any activities for kids that, um, what activities you have for kids? So we'll have sack races, we'll have bobbin for apples, we will have pumpkins for the kids to decorate, face painting, Wow. So, so much. That's it's, that good old fashioned yes, part. Yes, yes, that <laughs> sounds like a blast. Well, if you guys need anything to do, definitely head out to Carbondale this Saturday from noon until six for the Carbondale Fall Fest. This is their first year. It sounds like it's gonna be a great time, guys. Thank you so much for talking all about it this morning with me. We will be right back.